All right, so um, yeah, the, the Syndicate Alpha and the Syndicate Pro are kind of based on the same philosophy, and they do share some characteristics. So one thing that they share is what we call the perimeter shape. So if you measure this ski out width-wise, or if, say you lay it on the floor and we're looking down, the shape of the ski is actually the same on Alpha as it is on Pro. That's something that the test team, myself, Bob LaPointe, Will Asher, John Travers, Benny Stoudemire, the whole crew, Jamie Bull, we really like the shape of the ski. So that's one thing we wanted to keep consistent between both models. The other thing we kept consistent was the rocker line. And when I talk about rock line, I mean like the edge rocker. So if you set this on the table, how it rocked back and forth. Um, we kept that consistent between Alpha and Pro. The major differences between the two skis is the concave, both in depth and in what we call concave rocker line, or like kind of the how the ski bends in the middle of the ski. So Alpha has a considerably shallower concave in the back half of the ski. And as a result of being shallower, it's, if you notice, kind of the dishing out of the bottom, it's less steep on these sides. So you kind of envision a half pipe you'd skateboard in. Uh, the Alpha has less vert or less steepness on the sides of the ski. And what that does is it traps less water and it funnels less water to the fin. So as a result, the ski has more lift, or should I say, doesn't ride as deep in the water. And uh, because of that, it has a lighter feel in the water, it's lower drag, and the turn shape has a little bit more what, what I like to call drift. So if you're thinking about it in terms of a car, the back half of the ski is able to kind of move outside of the arc that the front of the ski's created and have a little bit more drift, which uh, allows the skier to lose just a little bit of forward speed. And in water skiing, a short line rope, that's really important because if you can lose a bit of forward speed as you're going through the turn, you can help keep the rope tighter. So that's really the main difference in the back half of the ski. Um, when you have a shallower concave and you have more drift and you are lower drag and the tail's more active, you need to compensate that by having a little bit more defined flat spot in the forebody. So although the edge rocker is the same as pro, the concave rocker line or this kind of this section right here in the middle is actually flatter. So that gives the skier a nice stable platform to stand on. And that's really important because as you as your tail becomes more active and moves, you need to have that counterbalance with stability in the front so the skier can plant in front of the ski in the water, trust that it's going to be there for him, and let the tail move away from what the fish turn. So that's really the kind of the magic behind Alpha. And you can see how we took the good things of Pro, meaning the perimeter shape and the edge rocker, and then improved certain aspects in terms of concave depth and concave rocker line to kind of suit that second type of skier, that skier that wants a ski that's lower drag, less physical effort, and has a little bit more drift in the finish of the turn. Yeah, for the most part, like what I've seen is skiers uh, who are maybe a little bit more old school, like I said, are like super aggressive, like to pull hard, pull long, uh, want a lot of deceleration out of a ski. They uh, prefer the pro. and. Um, you know, for a long time, if you went to like the higher levels of pro water skiing, you'd see a lot of skiers like that, and that's kind of where the name came from. Um, the Alpha, I think, is a little bit more modern water ski in a sense that because of the shallower concave in the back, it's lower drag, it's more efficient, requires less physical effort. It seems to suit more finesse skiers or skiers that have really good body position, good technique. A lot of women's and kids skiers as well because, um, you know, women are they're better skiers than the guys, you know, and they rely more on technique as opposed to muscle. So if you're a skier who likes to use a lot of power, he's going to pull long, use a lot of deceleration out of a ski, you're probably going to like Syndicate Pro. It rides deeper in the water and it has more downforce. If you're a skier who's more technique oriented, more finesse, uh, wants the ski to do the work for him, wants the boat to do the work for him, wants a little more drift in the ski through the finish of the turn, um, then you're going to like Alpha. You know, like 10, 12 years ago when I started, I kind of had the idea of making a 34 and 36 mile an hour specific ski. And that kind of, we learned a lot from that. We learned that, you know, a lot of skiers like different ski tastes or different attributes from a ski. It wasn't always speed dependent. And so no, these skis aren't necessarily d designed to be for a specific, specific speed, but they definitely are designed to have a distinct feel. So they don't feel the same, even though they have some similarities. Um, they're based on the same idea, and 
but you know, there's guys at ski at 34 that love the pro, and I ski like for instance at 36, and I ride the Alpha. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Oh really? I mean, we we always are riding uh, next year's ski like a year ahead. So uh, the the internal test team, Will Asher, John Travers, uh, myself, Bob Point, obviously, Marcus Brown, Eddie Sadebauer, Jamie Bull. The list goes on and on. Um, we really were like riding that ski hard. In fact, John and Will rode at uh, the pro at Moomba and both competed on ski very well on the pro at the U.S. Uh, Masters and they were really putting it through its paces and they loved how it rode. In fact, I think their scores reflected. I think the whole world saw, hey, these guys are running buoys on this. In fact, you know, they both ran 41 off this year at a, at a pro event. Um, but they said to me, hey, we think, we think there's opportunity to build on this ski. We think there's a way to decrease some drag in the tail. We think we can add some stability in the forebody. We think we can make a ski that kind of resonates with uh, the other type of skier, kind of the lower drag, more finesse, more technique oriented skier. And in all honesty, they also were like searching to try and make it a little bit better as well. So um, that's really where Alpha came from. And it really came from a lot of skiing a lot of real world testing by some of the best water skiers in the world. We started offering two fin settings this year. Just because our team, we are experimenting with kind of radically different fin settings. So there's been a trend as of late to try what I call like a short and deep setting. Those are more traditional numbers, kind of what HOs always run, kind of that 6, 8, 40, 2, 5, 0, 8 range. Um, but Will and John, myself, and a lot of the guys have been experimenting with running the long and shallow settings where you're quite a bit longer. 6, 9, 75, 2, 4, 50, or even 2, 4, 45. And, um, you know, I've noticed some people gravitate towards one set of numbers and others gravitate towards the others. So, like, you know, Will, for instance, for a long time was a guy who would always, almost no matter what ski he rode, no matter what I changed on the ski, he would always run around 6, 8, 40, 2, 5, 0, 8. And that worked for him, the way he liked to ski. Where other skiers on the team would run uh, longer and shallower. And so there's no right or wrong, just like there's no better or worse between Alpha and Pro. But I do think those are kind of the zones. In between doesn't seem to work as well. And, and if you're a high-end skier and you're interested in those things, you should try both sets of numbers. You should start to learn about your own skiing and what you want out of your fin and your ski setup and understand, hey, I, I prefer a short and deep setting. That, that suits my style better. Or, wow, I'm really impressed by the long shallow. It helps me when I'm running late. So it's not really speed dependent. It's not really ski dependent. It's mostly skier dependent on understanding how that setting works for you. So I'd recommend trying both. That being said, when they come out of the factory, we do set them up with the short and deep setting. I think that is a little bit more traditional, although I've had a lot of success on the long shallow as well. So try them both. Yeah, that's a good question. Coming from pro to alpha is, is a really easy transition because of the fact that they're based on a lot of similar things like the shape and the rocker line. The edge rocker line is the same. So. It's a natural transition. You don't have to relearn how to ski. It's not foreign or anything like that. It is pretty noticeable once you change, like how small changes to ski design has a big effect on the water or a big feel effect. I mean, the big thing you feel is the concave in the back half of the ski being shallower. The alpha is just way less drag. I mean, it accelerates quicker off the buoy. You stay earlier in the course, but has more glide speed. You'll notice on your gait right away. And if you like those things, I mean, this is the ski for you. Um, that glide speed can sometimes be translated into ooh, it's a little fast into the buoy, so you have to get used to that. Um, but I think stability-wise, what we've done in the front, um, combining that with the tail, you know, you will feel the tail move away from you through the turn, where the front is kind of numb and stable. Where on pro, the tail is more has more downforce and the front is more active and engaging. So it's almost kind of a different turn. Like we're pro, the front really engages, 
and the tail's kind of holding and providing support. Alpha, the front is not really as engaging, but very stable, and the tail's actively moving away and drifting and kind of bleeding off some of that speed. So it is kind of a different turn shape. And there's no right or wrong on shape, but there are, as a skier, you will probably prefer one of the two. And um, I personally like, like the Alpha, the way the front's stable and the tail moves away. But aggressive skiers who pull on and are really attack, you know, they want that front to dive in, they want that front to initiate, and they want that tail to hold no matter what when when stuff gets real in, in tournaments and things like that. So Oh um, man, yeah, like in the Alpha and Pro, you know, kinda of, they're they're obviously I think they're the best skis we made. I think everybody agrees with that. I mean the performances speak for themselves. If you had to go back in the, the lineage and look at you know similarities, um, Syndicate Pro would be a little bit more like VTX in the sense that it had a deep concave and had some downforce, where Alpha would be a little bit more like VTR, where it rode higher in the water, it was a little lower drag. If you went back to a whole new generation in front of that, you know, Alpha would be a little bit more similar to like an S2, where um, you know, it was a little bit more efficient, where the Pro would be a little bit more similar to like an A2. Or A3, where it had more downforce, and then yeah, all the way back to A1. And there's actually not that much similarity between those skis anymore. I mean, A1 would probably be a little bit more. Was was pretty low drag, but uh, probably a little bit more like Pro or Monza per se. Going way back would be like Alpha. Alpha. I mean, Monza rode high in the water. Alpha rode high in the water. The unique thing is though, since 10, 12 years ago, we have learned to make them efficient, make them low drag, make them easy to ride but make them really stable. And if you went back to those old skis like a Monza, for instance, it was pretty easy to ride in terms of effort, but the stability was lacking. So we really improved that considerably on those new skis.